everybody and welcome to day 17 of my beginner sewing course. Today we're going to learn how to do a blind stitch. Um, have you ever seen like a pair of pants where you know that there's a seam there but you can't see it on the right side of the fabric? Um, I always thought it was like glued on but like when I started sewing I realized that's just a stitch. Uh, it's called the blind hem stitch so that's what we're going to learn how to do today. So let's get into it. So here is a pair of pants that I own, and as you can see on this side we have the hem and there's the overlock stitch at the bottom, but when you turn it to the right side, there's no there's no stitch, there's no stitch line. And it makes you wonder, well, how how is it possible, right? Is it magic? No, it's a blind hem stitch. You can see like a little tiny bit of puckers right here. And that's how you know that there's a blind hem stitch there. So that's what we're going to learn how to do. So just grab a rectangular piece of fabric again. I overlocked mine just so it would give a neater finish, but you don't have to do that. So let's just put it to that side. And now what you want to do is fold your hem. So like it depends on your pattern, right? Your hem might be this big, that big. I don't know. Let's just say it's like this big. So let's just do a little recap just so we're on the same page. This is the right side of the fabric. This is the wrong side. And this right here, that's your hem. So what you're going to do is put your fingers like this and pinch the fabric so you can fold it like that okay so now all the layers are in so just drop it a little bit like i always say i like to use a half inch seam allowance so we're going to try to eye that out that doesn't have to be perfect so this looks this looks good to me so i'm just going to pin this so what you want to do now is grab your blind hem foot this is what mine looks like and as you can see there's like a flap here and that's used to guide the fabric so you're always going to find that on a blind hem foot even though yours might look different from mine and this one's cool because there's a screw so you can either make the flap shorter or larger so let me just show you how uh we're going to be using it so um in that stitch your needle is going to make um, maybe like three to four straight stitches on this part right here and the zigzag stitch there's going to be like one every four stitches is going to grab a tiny piece of uh, piece <laughs> a tiny piece of this fabric right here and that's what's going to uh, catch it but make it seamless from the right side so as you can see in that little hole there is space for the straight stitches here and then a little bit for that zigzag stitch that's gonna come in right here you can see the fold inside that little hole so let's take it to the sewing machine so on your machine you're going to want to select the stitch that looks like this so for me it's number 11 so as you can see there's the straight stitch and then once in a while there is that zigzag that's gonna catch the folded fabric and as for the settings um, I'm gonna keep them as they are but I recommend using, like, if you can, a lower width than a bigger one. So, like, it's better to be um, using a lower one or a shorter one than a bigger one because if you use a bigger one, you'll see more of that zigzag stitch on the right side of your fabric. So, like I said before, you're going to want to align your folded line with that little flap right here. Right now, I don't know if it's screwed, like, the right amount. So... I'm just going to have to stitch to see, but you can see it a little bit. I do think that it's too, too um, wide. That looks good to me, but I'm not sure. We're just going to have to sew to see if it's good. Oh, I see, I see. Mm, I don't think it's catching it, actually, so... I'm going to make it a little wider. Let's see if it catches it now. Mm, I think it caught it. Let me just make sure. 
No, it didn't. So I'm just going to make it a little oh, wider again. Not by much, just a little. Okay, let's keep sewing. Okay, now it definitely caught it. So as you can see, it's a lot of trial, trial and error. So make sure that you use um, a scrap fabric first to figure out um, how much width you need with this. This is what the stitch looks like. Now, when you do it, you're gonna be using a matching thread, so it'll be uh, more seamless. But as you can see, it didn't catch everywhere. Uh, oh, did it? I think it did actually. Okay, no, no, those two seams there, it didn't catch, but that's okay. Not every single one is going to catch. And when you turn it around, this is what it looks like. So as you can see, there's like, here there's a little more because I was playing around. Um, like you can see it from that side because I was playing around and figuring out like exactly um, the right width, but towards the end, I figured it out and this is what it should look like. And with matching thread, you're not even gonna be able to see like the little dots here. Um, but yeah, this is like, this part is the perfect one. And yeah, I mean, this is how it's done. All right, everybody, we are done with the blind stitch. And I know I can see that like, we're just learning things to learn things, but like, we're actually gonna use some of these uh, towards the end of the series where I teach you how to make pants, shirts, dresses, all that stuff. So um, all of this is gonna come in handy. Um, your homework for today is just to practice your uh, blind stitch hem. Um, play with the settings, uh, play with the adjustment of the presser foot and see what works for your fabric. Maybe try it with different types of fabric, get used to the feel and just have fun with it. I will see you tomorrow.